The idea of the Mohs hardness kit is basically to test the surface strength of the concrete. So it gives a good idea of what the strength of the concrete would be before the diamond grinding starts. The picks come in different hardnesses of metal. Uh, they are labeled two through nine, which is just a, a rough, gives a rough idea of how the floor scratches or how the surface of the concrete scratches based on the different metal to indicate a result of hardness. It's not a very precise test, but it is a little more um, official than a key or a screwdriver. The softest is a two, which a two looks like a piece of plastic, so it's probably safe to assume that on concrete it's going to do nothing. Three looks like it's a soft metal, maybe a copper. Nothing happens. A four which all, from here on out, all the metals look about the same, but they are progressively getting harder uh, so that you know, as the picks get harder in strength, of course, hard stuff is required to scratch hard stuff. So we're trying to narrow down which pick is gonna scratch the concrete. So the four, when it's drug across the floor, a little more noise, but not much of a mark. Five is on the opposite end. A little more noise, a little more resistance. It's scratching it, but it's not really <clears throat> turning the concrete white to indicate that it would qualify as a five. Again, it's not a very official test. It's really a matter of how the tool is held and then just simply drug across the floor. Six, a little more noise maybe, but again, not really much of a scratch or at least not a consistently white scratch. Seven, pretty much the same thing. Eight. So there's the big difference. That's where the, where it's noticeable. So it's not a matter of is it or is it not scratching it with the earlier steps anymore. Now it's a matter of when I just put the eight on the floor and pull it, I can feel the resistance on the metal because it is actually fracturing the surface of the concrete. It's breaking those those sand particles and cement and whatever rock might be there, but mostly it's just trying to break through the cream, which is what the diamonds are going to do anyway. So it gives me an idea that if it's scratching at an eight consistently and I'm getting a nice white line with the same amount of effort, then I would call that a Mohs seven eight.